Hello everyone and welcome back to another video on FNAF. So today we're talking about the new remastered version of FNAF 1, FNAF Plus, and we're actually going to be reacting to the trailer as well. But before we jump into that, I wanted to shout out my Discord server. This Discord server has been a huge success. It grew from 0 to 2,800, actually over 2,800 members in the last week, which is insane. Seeing you guys chat and make friends and talking with you on there has been one of the highlights of the past week for me. And this video idea was actually a suggestion from someone in the Discord named Finn the Almighty Bagel. So thank Thank you Finn for the suggestion. And if you want to join my Discord, it's going to be the first link in the description. Ages 13 and up because Discord said so and I don't want to get sued, so. <laughs> also don't forget to like the video and subscribe if you want to see more FNAF themed content. I post a lot of it. I mean look at the name of the channel, it's kind of self-explanatory. Let's get into the video. So as we all know, a couple weeks ago Scott announced the Fazbear Fanverse initiative. As part of the initiative, he will be self-funding a few FNAF fan game developers to create more FNAF fan games with the help of Scott. And one of those games has happened to be a remake slash reimagining of FNAF 1 called FNAF Plus. The game will be created by developer Fiznom and feature the same location and characters we've come to love in FNAF 1. Fiznom expressed his gratitude to Scott on Twitter when the initiative was first announced, saying, It's a huge honor. I have a strong vision for it, and I want it to be a very special game for everyone in the fandom. As a veteran fan of the series, this is a dream come true for me. I understand and feel the massive weight of expectations that are now hanging over my head, and I promise to do my best. You can really tell how much he appreciates this opportunity and wants to make an amazing game for us. He also mentioned on Twitter that he'll be spending most of his time working on the game and that he'll be a lot more quiet with teasers and updates, but that changed today. Or yesterday, depending on when this video gets released. Fiznom tweeted out, New milestone, new FNAF Plus teaser, connection error. This one marks the completion of all character models. As you can see, progress is already underway for the other milestones too, rooms, programming, etc. And yes, most teasers will be videos. Hearing that we're going to be getting teasers in the form of videos seems like a great idea to build hype for the game. So as far as the trailer reaction, I think it's pretty obvious by now that I don't show my face until we hit 100k and I film a face reveal, winky wink, winky wink. Who says that? I don't know. Okay. So I bet you're wondering, how is he going to film his reaction to this trailer without a face cam? Well, I'll tell you. I'm going to be reacting to the trailer with stock images on screen. Okay. Without further ado, let's react to the trailer. Here we go. Okay. Oh. Wow. What the heck? That looks like... Hello? That... Okay. We obviously know this is the dining room in FNAF 1. And it is fuzzy and it looks real. Like, I don't know how to explain it, but that it looks like a real camera. Like Scott's game is pretty um, realistic. I, I don't want to talk too much because the trailer is going, but. I actually haven't watched this yet, so I'm really interested to see what happens. Oh God. Oh my God. What happened? Is it Freddy? Is that something in the back? I can't tell. Oh my God, I'm going crazy. Oh my God. Oh my God. His eyeballs are like bulging. Wait. That, <laughs> that is scary. Wait a minute. Okay, I'm, Okay, I'm like, hold on, stop. Oh my God, I'm... Okay. He's probably gonna be gone. Those chairs are so weird. They must be so uncomfortable. I just wanna point that out. I don't know. Okay. I'm gonna guess there's a jump scare. Oh God. Ah! Oh, my... <laughs> oh my God, there's a map. Camera disabled connection error. Oh, okay. Don't know if you could tell, but that was a genuine scream because jump scares actually scare me. So there you go. So some key things that I'd like to point out, graphics look amazing. I mean, the video is only in 480p, but um, you can still tell how realistic it looks. Also, Bonnie does not look like Scott's Bonnie. You know what I mean? It's, it's not like an exact replica. 
of Scott's body. I'd find it really interesting if Fiznom actually remodeled Scott's characters and made them his own. I think that'd be really cool. I mean, imagine like Scott's characters, but like even more realistic and even more creepy. Like, I don't know if that's possible, but we might see that in this game. That jump scare didn't seem like it would be a lot, but like it actually got a really good scare out of me. Uh, kind of embarrassing, but you know. It's fine. Yeah, let's go back to the trailer and let's pause on Bonnie real quick, hold on. Okay, so I paused on Bonnie. You can't really see much because it's uh, a little blurry, but his eyes are definitely bugging a little bit. Uh, you can see the nose a little bit. I mean, this was just one of many little small video teasers, which again, I think is a great idea by Fiznom for the new FNAF Plus game. So I cannot wait for more of these to come out. And if you guys wanna see me react to all of these little teasers, I'd be happy to do that. Just let me know in the comments or like the video and that'll let me know. Okay, so I'm just now realizing something that may be a big thing for this. Um, I'm looking at the map that he showed us and this isn't, the FNAF 1 map exactly. Okay, so as you can see on Fiznom's map of FNAF 1, there is a room in the top right corner that is not on Scott's FNAF 1 original map. And I think we all know what room belongs there because of the FNAF 3 cutscenes and the map, if you piece it together, is the FNAF 1 map. But that room in the top right corner is the room that purple guy gets spring trapped, spring locked, and spring trap is born. This is going to be really interesting for the final game. I can't wait to see what he puts. Maybe he'll put Springtrap in this game. Uh, that would be hype. Is there even going to be a camera in there? Is, is it going to be an unlockable thing? There seems to be another added room or at least moved room. There was two rooms on the left side of the original FNAF 1 map and now they've kind of shifted down. I don't know if that's an added room or he just kind of reconfigured the map, but this is exciting. Also on the top left, we have what seems to be an entrance or I'm not sure. Is there going to be vents in this game? Like, is that what these rooms are? I don't know. I just wanted to point that out and I haven't heard anyone talk about that yet, but also I haven't watched any of the videos because I don't want it spoiled for me, but now I can watch them, so. Anyways, I'm gonna stop rambling. Just something to think about that I thought of off the top of my head, and yeah. Anyways, did you like it? Did you not like it? Let me know in the comments below. It really got me in my feels, reminding me of when I first played FNAF 1, so I guess Fiznom is doing something right. Make sure to like the video if you enjoyed it, and hit that subscribe button if you wanna see more FNAF-themed content. Also, don't forget to join the Discord server if you want to. It's a little chaotic at times, but it's fun, I promise. Okay, I hope you guys have a great day, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Bye, bye.